The plantar dorsal axial projection of the calcaneus is performed with the patient seated on the table. A lead shield should be placed on the patient's lap for radiation protection. Place an 8x10 image receptor under the ankle of the patient's extended leg. Place a long strip of gauze around the ball of the foot. Have the patient grasp the gauze to hold that ankle in dorsiflexion. The central ray is directed at a cephalic angle of 40 degrees to the long axis of the foot entering at the base of the third metatarsal. Collimation improves radiographic contrast. When making the exposure, the patient should remain very still, but suspended respiration is unnecessary. An axial calcaneus radiograph should demonstrate the calcaneus, subtalar joint, and distal ends of the tibula and fibula. Appropriate contrast and density demonstrate both soft tissue and trabecular of the bone. The dorsal plantar axial projection of the calcaneus is performed with the patient lying prone on the table. A lead shield should be placed on the patient's abdomen for radiation protection. Elevate the patient's ankle and adjust to keep the patient's ankle dorsiflexed and the long axis of the foot perpendicular to the tabletop. Place the image receptor against the plantar surface of the foot. The central ray is directed to the midpoint of the image receptor at a caudal angle of 40 degrees to the long axis. Collimation improves radiographic contrast. When making the exposure, the patient should remain very still, but suspended respiration is unnecessary. An axial calcaneus radiograph should demonstrate the calcaneus subtalar joint and distal ends of the tibia fibula. Appropriate contrast and density will demonstrate both soft tissue and trabecular of the bone.